Hello and welcome to another episode of Keith's Customs. In today's video I'm just going to talk about a final drive ratio, how you work it out and what it means. What I've got here is two identical diffs from uh, an English axle which is commonly found in Anglias, Cortinas, Escorts and the like. They are identical except for there is one fundamental difference which some of you eagle-eyed may be able to spot but if not I'll come to it shortly um, but yeah first of all working out your final drive ratio let's get stuck into it so the two components that you're really interested in are your crown wheel and your pinion now that there if you can see it that's your pinion wheel and this big one on the outside is your crown wheel. Now to work out your final drive ratio, you count the number of teeth on your crown wheel, you count the number of teeth on your pinion, and you divide the big number by the small number. And that will give you your final drive ratio. Now I know that there's 34 teeth on that one, and nine teeth on that one. So you divide 34 by nine, you get 3.77, which is your final drive ratio. Well, what does that mean? Right, what that means is your pinion wheel, which is comes from your, your flange there, which is where your prop shaft from your gearbox attaches. What it means is that has to turn 3.77 times to turn your crown wheel once, okay? So, for example, if I had 4.11 or triple fours, it would mean that that pinion wheel would have to turn 4.11 times or 4.44 times to turn the crown wheel once. So, to do, let's say, 70 mile an hour or 100 kilometers an hour, the engine would have to rev higher. The higher the number, so the 4.11 or the 4.44, that engine would have to rev higher to achieve 70 mile an hour than a car that had a differential which was lower, like 3.54 or you know something like that. 3.54 was very popular in RS2000s, which is why it gave them that slight edge when you know when you got to top speed. What's the difference? You may say, well, what you want the car to do basically dictates what final drive you choose. So if you want a car that accelerates really quickly, so like a, 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 a sprint car, drag car, rally car, um, something where the engine is going to be working in the power band most of the time, you're going to want something like a, a 4.11 or a triple four, maybe even higher, depends on what the gear ratios are in your gearbox. If you want something that's got a bit longer legs, so that cruises nicely on the freeway or motorway, you're going to want something that's a bit lower down so like the 3.54s or 289s something like that 3.77 is a sort of happy medium between the two it gives you a pretty good acceleration and not bad sort of top end speed the, the engine's not really revving its head off to, to do what the maximum speed limit so that's my personal choice so let's get to the difference between these two that I was talking about you look closely at this one see what that lot in there look nuts bolts and weld it's comically known as a sig locker because someone has used a sig welder to basically weld it up so if you see an advert for or get offered a welded diff that basically is what it means they've welded up all the spider gears which are those in there see where those have extra little gears in there they're the spider gears which allow the differential to work what they've done is they've welded that up. Those spider gears allow each wheel to turn at a different rate. So when you're cornering, the inside wheel will turn slower than the outside wheel. With this diff, that ain't gonna happen. Both wheels are gonna turn at the same speed. Your axles go, half shafts go in there. At the same time. So when you go around a corner, basically the car's gonna judder like that because the inner wheel is gonna try and turn at the same speed as the outer wheel. Not nice. 
all right if you're doing competition rally race whatever drag racing especially it doesn't matter but for normal everyday driving it's unbearable this one was actually in project pegasus when i bought it and it was the first thing i changed one day of driving it i ran a road with that and that was it i just couldn't handle it so i bought another one got it reconditioned and then swapped them out um, this is just a, this one over here was just a spare that i've got um, which i just keep in the shed so i thought i'd pull them both out today and give you guys the rundown on what's what and how it all works so yeah simple want to know your final drive ratio divide the big number by the small number and it's just about counting the teeth well i hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and share and uh, i'll see you all very soon in the next one